Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, today is just perfect. And today we are going to be discussing how you guys can start making money as teenagers now. But first we got to set some things up, so let's get into this and let's go. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be maybe answering some questions you guys have about how you can start making money as teenagers now. So I'm going to break this into three different steps. These are just tips and processes I have used in my life that have helped me out a lot. So let's jump into it. The first step. The first step is you really just need to assess what skills and talents you have, what you're good at and what you're not good at. Look at your skill set. What are some of your skills? Are you good at communicating with people? Are you good at planning or organizing events? Are you good at web design? Are you good at math? The possibilities are limitless. It can be anything. If you're not sure what skills and talents you have, like many of us probably are, you can ask your friends and family. Ask the people who are close to you in your life. You can ask your parents, your friends, and teachers at school maybe what skills or talents they think you have that you're not sure about yet. After you get their input, go and try to use those skills and talents that they said that you have. So I'm a Christian and I read the Bible. And in the Bible, in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 17, it says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father. So I believe we have all been given gifts and talents that we are supposed to use to work and to serve one another. So with that in mind, you can look within yourself and see what gifts and talents you have. The only way to know if you like something is to try it. The same is true with skills and talents. You'll never know what you're good at or not good at until you try to do it. So go out and try different things and see what you're good at and what you're not good at. The second step is to know what skills and advantages you have over the community. What you need to do is look for gaps in the services or products available to the community. What can you provide that others can't? What can you add that others aren't doing right now? How can you insert yourself into a market where you will be unique? That's what you should think about. What gaps or holes maybe there are in the services or products available. Maybe you can insert yourself into one of those gaps and become the unique distributor of your product or service. What are some needs and wants of the community that I can fulfill with my skills and advantages? That's what you should think about. Now we're at the third step. This step is really important. You can have any skills or gifts that you want and you can make money doing almost anything. But the most important thing is that you are happy while doing it. Of course, maybe in the beginning, if you need money, then you can work at a job or you can do something that's not your favorite to make money and get by. But in the future, you should look for opportunities to work with what you love doing. Let's say, for example, you love to ride bikes and you're, you can do lots of cool tricks that other people can't do. You can start a YouTube channel or you can give private tutorial lessons to people who want to learn how to do more bike tricks. If that's what you love doing, then you can make money by doing that. So you should look for what areas in your life that you love to do and then try to make money off of them. With these three steps in mind, I've created a formula and the formula goes like this. Your talents and skills plus doing what makes you happy plus the community's needs or wants equals your possible opportunities to make money now. I have personally used this because I am a 14 year old American living in Russia. What are my talents? Well, I'm good at communication and talking with people. 
What are some needs in the community I'm in? Well, I'm in a Russian city full of people who want to learn English. I have a, I'm in a great place because I love communicating and talking with people. There's a need for English teachers. If I put those together, I now have a result that I'm an English teacher. And that's how I make some of my money, is by teaching my students English. So I think this can help you guys a lot on maybe just guiding you, giving you some pointers and some advice, and the possibilities are endless. And you can do anything you want to. Just make sure that you're happy while doing it, it matches your skill set, and it's a need in the community. If you follow those three steps, then you should be set and find yourself in a great place where you can make money doing what you love. I hope this has been helpful to you guys. I really enjoy talking and learning about finances and business, and I plan to make more videos on this in the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe with the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Das Vidania.